Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and time to tell you if this game is worth your time and cash. Today's game is the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. This is the story of a man named Stanley, and that was game from 2013 now has a pseudo sequel slash expansion slash definitive edition slash cash grab. Is this narrative heavy satire of game design worth checking out? The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is available on pretty much everything Xbox, PC, Switch, and PS4, and retails at $24.99, and the game itself will last you anywhere between an hour to five hours depending on how much of the game you want to explore. So what exactly is the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Well it's essentially a walking simulator that is fully aware of what it is and uses that to subvert and lampoon the tropes of not only itself but of game development, game reviews, gaming as an entertainment medium, and more. Or it's just a funny game about walking around in an office annoying an omnipresent narrator. The general framing device of the game is that you are Stanley, an office worker whose entire job is pressing buttons on a computer when the computer tells you to. And until one day the computer stops giving instructions. So it's up to you as Stanley to figure out what is going on all while an ever-present narrator is telling you what to do next. After that it's up to you to decide how much you want to follow the narrator or ignore him or even openly defy him. You could try doing things like breaking out of the map, clicking certain doors a number of times, or killing Stanley just to see what happens. The genius of the game is that almost every possible scenario has in fact been accounted for, which is not only entertaining but also ties into the game's true allegory, or one of many, around the illusion of player choice and control within video games. If all this sounds a bit heady, it really isn't, as the game is incredibly funny, both with its narration and dried, sardonic critique of game design in general. I don't really want to describe too much more of this game, as it's really the type of thing that is absolutely best experienced completely blind. Needless to say, Stanley Parable is a walking slash exploration style game with a heavy emphasis on narration and a bunch of new content from the previous version. And one more thing, if you have played the original Stanley Parable, there is more than enough new content here to merit the price, and you don't need to have played the first one in order to play this one. This is essentially a definitive edition. So what do I like about the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Well, the game's absolutely insane attention to every possible player choice, all the way down to remembering the choices you made in previous runs, as well as its dedication to the various gags and bits they pull off is absolutely inspiring. I have no clue how they accounted for so many actions and have commentary on all of it. Secondly, the meta-level narrative around game design is absolutely fantastic here as it was originally, and all the new content references changes in game development since the original came out in 2013, making the new stuff synergize quite well with the old stuff and keeping the satire just as sharp. And lastly, the game is just really funny. Maybe one of the funniest games I've ever played. Even with me having played the 2013 game to death, trying to figure out every possible thing you can do, I went through the whole experience with a big dumb grin on my face because the whole thing is just so dang entertaining and clever. The narrator really sells this game. When it comes to the bad, if you don't like games that play a lot into the concept of meta critique of the medium, or games that require digging a bit into their subtext to understand what they're going for, you will probably find this game very boring. Interestingly, the game is heavily rich on fairly long-winded narration, which I really enjoy and find engaging, but there's no denying a good chunk of the game is listening to a narrator, which might not be your thing. And lastly, the game still looks like a source port mod, which it actually started as, and even in this updated release, they just didn't bother to spruce stuff up. It does make the game feel a bit dated. As you know, Ray Kim's here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is absolutely a must play. Back in 2013, I said Stanley Parable was my favorite game of that year. And while I was personally very wary about this Ultra Deluxe version, I am very pleased to say it absolutely delivered for me. The entire first game with all its snappy writing is still here for those who haven't played it before, and the new stuff is just as sharply written and comedically brilliant as the original game was. If you have any love for comedy, meta humor, or sharp satire around games as a medium, you are going to love the Stanley Parable. And even if you aren't into walking sims, Stanley Parable might be the game to change your mind. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played the Stanley Parable or this Ultra Deluxe version, what do you think about it? Let me know. Regardless, go out there and enjoy the hell out of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe.